You know something special's happened when even John Tortorella has to laugh. It all came on the last second tying goal in the Montreal-Philadelphia game last night. We'll get to there, but let's do a recap first. This was a really entertaining game where Philadelphia, I think, benefited from some weaker goaltending. But you can't blame it all on Al. In the first 40 seconds, saw Philly grab a 1-0 lead when a D-man joined a rush, completely uncovered. What can you say? Owen Tippett then scored what looked to be a pretty weak one short side, but I think Allen may have been screened. Either way, that was a terrible line change from Montreal. I was expecting Tippett would shoot for a rebound given the rush, but it obviously worked out. The Habs then scored their first off a rebound. That was the third goal in five minutes of play. Then almost immediately had a terrible breakdown in their own end, making them pretty lucky not to be down 3-1. Suzuki scored, but on review, the goal was disallowed. Rightly, I think he pretty clearly pushed the goalie's pad in along with the puck. However, Caulfield, after a nice attempt earlier, scored from the OV zone on a powerful five-hole one-timer. To gain the lead, Nick Suzuki had an absolutely disgusting assist to Mike Matheson. This was Matheson, a native Montrealer's first game with the Habs, but he factored not only into this goal, but also on the tying one. Tippett then pulled a Super Mario, scoring off the faceoff. And that would take us to the third period, which started off 3-3. Philly scored another weird one from behind the circle with 11 minutes left. And I got to give a shout out on this to Kevin Hayes' mustache. Absolutely beautiful. And although they had chances with just over a minute left, Montreal failed to tie it. This brings us to the sequence. An offensive zone faceoff. Montreal pulls their goalie. And you know what? Philly actually played pretty well defensively. They killed a bunch of time at the boards. They blocked shots. They actually completely broke up the play, but Matheson managed to keep the puck in. For the last 40 seconds, the Habs as a whole, but especially Suzuki, were distributing the puck super well. Caulfield gave up what I thought was a clear shot for him, opting instead for a cross-ice pass. Then he missed on the fake slap shot pass one-timer, probably not a super advisable shot. However, with 1.9 seconds left, he took a super hard pass from Suzuki and slotted it home. This was a play that just shouldn't have happened, but Montreal honestly just outskilled the Philadelphia team on the ice. And I've got to say, the Habs were really exciting to watch. I mean, Montreal, when they're playing well, is always exciting because of the fan base, but all this young talent on the team, especially Suzuki and Caulfield, and hey, that's to take nothing away from Owen Tippett, who had an amazing game for Philly. Anyway, overtime would solve nothing, then Suzuki would prove my point about young skill by scoring a nasty shootout goal. Usually, I don't talk about the shootouts. I think they're goofy, but I mean, you gotta watch this. Anyway, that was the game, a very entertaining one. I'm glad I went back and watched it today. Only two on tonight, so plenty of time to do so. Anyway, the Canadians' future seems bright, and you gotta love what Martin St. Louis done with the team. Let me know what you thought down below, and also which games you checked out for Hockey Night in Canada, or Saturday Night Hockey if you're in the States or abroad.